Let's design another program using the same design recipe. Suppose that we want to design a program to convert people's height measurements in uh, feet and inches into centimeters so that we could maybe talk to people in other countries about heights. Uh, so the data that uh, this program handles would be heights. So uh, sounds like it might help if we first uh, define what a height is okay, in the data definition. So in step one, we might write a height is, a, well, it's, it's just not a kind of number. Right. Okay, so a height is a number. We define that. And now let's uh, write the signature purpose and header for this function. In order to write the signature, we have to uh, figure out the uh, name of the function. Uh, maybe a name will be feet and inches to centimeters. Okay, feet to cm. That's a name for this function. Um, and the uh, function is going to take, actually, now it's going to take both feet and inches as inputs. So this function is going to take two inputs. And they're both heights, one in feet and one in, in inches. So I'm just going to put both of these inputs um, before the arrow. Okay, this function takes two inputs. But like all functions, it still only returns one output that is the height in centimeters. Okay, so we're going to convert feet and inches to centimeters. Okay, so this is um, an example of a signature of a function that takes two inputs and returns one output. Okay, and now we also need to write the header for this function. So it has feet and inches and it's going to return centimeters somehow. Okay. That's a height. Now let's write some examples. Um, I'm going to write examples as check expects right away. So one example might be, actually a simple example will be zero feet and zero inches is zero centimeters. That's a basic example that's worth checking. Uh, what else do we know? Um, let's kind of simplify the arithmetic by assuming that one inch is just 2.5 centimeters. I know it's actually 2.54 centimeters, but um, the, the numbers are gonna be easier to deal with and it doesn't really matter for our purpose anyway um, to, to use this approximation. Um, so one inch is 2.5 centimeters, one feet then is 12 inches, which is 30 centimeters. Okay, uh, so now we could give more examples like uh, I think six feet is 180 centimeters. Um, and uh, uh, my height is kind of 510, so that's 175 centimeters. Okay, so those are five examples that um, this function should match. Okay, now let's write the template. Well, the template can be based again on the header, so I'm gonna copy the header again. Um, but this time, um, to fill in the template. Again, we want to inventory how the inputs might be used. Okay, we expect to use both the feet input and the inches input. So here's a simple template. Let's just remind ourselves that we want to use these two inputs. Okay, so that's step four. Um, now for step five, the actual function definition, I'm going to start with a template because the template is a starting point for the definition and really start to ask a question, you know, how do we fill in the template? How do we actually use these inputs F and I? Well, um, the feet and the inches are added together. Okay, So I expect that we do something to the feet and something to the inches and then we add the result together. Okay. So one foot is 30 inches, uh, 30 centimeters. So that's the, the feet part in centimeters. And one inch is 2.5 centimeters. That's the inch part in uh, centimeters. And I just need to add these together. So uh, let's replace this dot 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 by plus. Okay, that might work. Let's see. So let's get to testing. So before I run this program, Again, in order to not confuse the computer about which of these three things that look like definitions to actually use, I'm going to comment out the first two. I'm going to put a semicolon in front of the header and put a semicolon in front of the template so that the computer knows that it should actually run the definition. 
Okay, now I can click run and let's see what happens. All five tests pass. Yay! So we're done.